Hey guys, what's going on? Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. So guys, I'm doing your daily tarot vibe for um, Saturday, May 2nd, and I'm using the Akashic Tarot. And I'm just getting prepped to read from the companion book, which means that I have to look down. Um, so the card that I have pulled for you is the reflection card, and I started reading it just briefly before I hit rec record. So let's see what this card says. So the card itself is a full moon shines brightly over a quiet lake as a small skip glides gently through the water. I hope you can see that okay. It's a really beautiful card. The glow of the skip's lantern is reflected on the lake's surface along with the moonlight from above. This card can sometimes show a trip, particularly a trip or over or by water. More important, it can reveal that you now have a direct line to your psychic gifts. Amazing. So you're also more aware of your emotions and more reflective about them. You recognize the differences between your intuitive voice, which is calm and assured, and your lower emotional compulsion, which are urgent and sometimes fear-based. So let yourself gain even greater clarity and control over your emotions now. This also, also would be a great time for you to take classes in meditation, psychic development, counseling, healing, and other psycho psychological and spiritual arts. If you have such an interest, your yin side is wide open and your receptivity is high. Trust your inner voice and you will be guided to greatness. So the Akashic force here, guys, close your eyes and feel yourself filled with an emotional peace as calm as a still lake. You are now in a state of intuitive reflection. Open yourself to a world, a word or image from spirit and trust the first thing you get. Let yourself receive. Okay, so I'm just absolutely in love with this card and I love the bit where it says that, um, you know, this is the perfect time for you to start doing something to elevate yourself and take like psychological classes and get more in touch with your intuition. And I think a really important part of doing this, you guys, is looking at how far that you've come on your journey. And um, I sometimes like to share a little bit about my own journey because I think it's can be relevant and help you guys out a little bit. So I was actually just thinking this last night before I started doing, um, you know, I, I do the readings in the morning. So I used to be an incredibly volatile person and I was just th sitting back and actually reflecting on how far I've come that way. Like things that would just push me over the edge and set me off and I was basically a ticking time bomb but um, after a really extreme incident with somebody that was on the same vibrational path as that, that explosive anger, I realized that I was attracting people into my life that were that way because I was that way. So I took that as an opportunity to work on myself and that's what I've been doing. And um, you know, it's brought me here to you guys to hopefully guide you on your journeys. So this is a great time to be doing something like working on yourself and giving yourself credit for f how far you've come and you know start reaching for higher vibrations within yourself and you know this is just such a beautiful card and there was there was something in here and I'll probably not be able to find it um a great time for you to take classes meditations um psychic development and you can do all of that stuff online you guys like all of my stuff I did um, like by following my gurus on YouTube and it really helped to bring me along and if you just start if you start opening yourself up to it they'll come you know it's like that movie um, with Kevin Costner if you build it they will they will come like if you are ready your gurus will appear and that's probably probably why you're here with me because I'm here to help you guys. So really important card, very interesting, super fascinating. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Sending love and many blessings. Take care.